Hey everyone, this is Kalpesh here, and now we are going to discuss the solution to the first arithmetic snake problem. Uh, this is the problem we got last week, the one to convert date to a day. So, are we ready? No. Okay. So let's let's begin. So I have I have sublime text here. I, I hope you are familiar with this text editor. Just show it to you. Yeah, it's, we are using this text editor. You can see this size icon here. So yeah, so the problem statement basically said that you have to input a date, so something like 30th November 1996 or something like 13 Jan 2017, something like that. And you will get which date that date occurred on. So let's begin. So one good thing would be that you your program continuously asks you to enter dates and then you and then you enter the corresponding day. So let's begin with that. So you must be familiar with the concept of loops. Uh, I'm presuming that you attended the previous WC sessions. So let's just begin with a loop we we'll use the while loop here so i'll just save this file uh, yeah so it's in my it's in my home folder so i can simply save that solution.py okay. okay so you can see the syntax highlighting has come here and i've just done a while to pass okay so what does this mean so while is going to repeat the the block following following it a certain number of times and we have passed a condition here, so this condition is true. So it will happen till the end of time, unless you, uh, unless you have a break statement in a minute. So we'll get to that soon. So anyway, so let, let's start writing the code. So we'll start with a simple print asking the asking the user to input a certain date. So so it's it's always good to uh, get a particular format from the user. I mean, you can write code to get it in different formats and then determine which format it is. But I guess it's it's much easier if you just keep it like this. So trust the user, of course. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so so let's just see how this is working. Yeah, so so to run anything on the command line, just say Python and the file here. So they must be going to a date. Yeah, okay. So I, I got it again. I think it's okay. Yeah, sounds good. Control C to, to quit the program. So I, I got my date inside the date variable. Now I need to extract this dd, this mm, and this yyy from this date string. So so I've used raw input, so raw input will always give me a string. And I need to extract these, these three variables from that. So I'll, 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 let's, figure it, let's figure out how to do it. So, so you actually use an operation called splitting. So you, you, you take your string and you say, I want to split on slashes. Because I'm using a slash here, so. right? And so we will make it more specific. So, yeah. So we we were getting the first link as the split method of tutorials point, and uh, we will just jump to an example to make it quick. So you can see this here: str dot split, and the variable you want to split on. This is the number line, we can ignore this parameter for now. So let's just write this as so so I'll always check what's going on. So we we'll just print date to be sure be sure that we are doing it correctly. So go to the number 10, 12, 2, 0, 1, 6. So yeah, 2, 2, 1, 6. So you can see that my uh, date has just split into three parts: 10, 12, 2, 1, 6. So this is a Python list actually. It's similar to an array in C++, just that you can uh, easily append it or, or reduce its size and do weird things. Yeah, so in, in layman's terms, it's just an array. So, so I got my date. So now, now I can access the different elements of the array using index, indexing. So date date zero would give me the DD component of it. Date one would give me the MM component. Yeah, uh, be sure you understand this that um, the dates are strings here; they're not integers. And we try to avoid converting them to integers as much as possible. So now, time for converting it to a day. So this is probably an overkill for this for this question, but we will make it into a function just to demonstrate functions to you. So to declare a function, I use a, the def keyword def convert, and I take three inputs into into this: the day, the month, and the day. So so on unlike C plus plus, you don't have to specify the data type anywhere. It's 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 derived automatically by Python, and I'll have to pass convert function here. So let's 
So, like I said, I'll use I'll use array indexing. So, Okay, so we have our date, month, and year, year out there. So what do we do now? So the best thing to do is, rather than writing our own algorithm is to find an existing library which does the same thing. So how do we find that out? So let's see. How to determine the day from date. Okay, so I always forget to spike the keyword. So there are a few solutions here. I'm looking for a particular one actually. So, so yeah, actually you can try any of the solutions. They all will work. But um, I want to demonstrate demo 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 a specific capability of this library, date time library. So this method will teach you how to load dates into this library and how to get get strings back from the date objects. Yeah, it's this one. So we begin by importing this library, import date time. So I just add the, add this at the top of the function. You can you can even add it inside the function. And so let let's break this into two parts. So let's do this part first. Um, and I'll just explain what it is in a moment. Yeah. So I've used the date time package in which is inside the date time package, and I've used a function called strp time. So what this function is doing is it's essentially converting a string into a datetime object. It's it's telling the datetime library what the date is. So it doesn't directly understand string. It has to pass through this function. So I can format my string in any way possible here, and I'll have to provide a, a corresponding uh, percentage symbol out here. So yeah, so I'll make this month just percentage m. Let's do this so month. Okay, so I have a percentage m here. I have a space, and then I'm asking for a date. And then I want a comma, and then I want a year. Right? So let's just see if things are okay so far. Sorry. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so. There seems to be an error here. So yeah, so whenever you're getting into an errors, it's good to see the documentation. I'll just control F that function. S T R P. Yes, so you can see all the possibilities out here. And we are looking for the month specifically. So, dollar M, and uh, for the year we have used dollar Y. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, percentage. Yes, yes. We making that mistake. And the day. Yeah. So what's going on? Okay, so let's start by printing this thing. So I'm actually getting the, the string formatting error. So I have a dollar, I have a percentage and percentage D. So I'm probably running into that error. I'm just, just, I'm just seeing the, the printed value of the string. Right. Uh, let's see. Okay, so you, this is a very important error that I've received here. It's an indentation error, even though the indentation looks right. So you can see that I've used a tab character here, whereas the others were space indented. So just make sure your indentation is consistent. You won't fall into these random errors. Okay, we have something interesting here. So you're getting a zero, one, and a slash here. So something went wrong in our in our split function, right? So these parameters which you're passing out here, these are not being passed correctly. And the error is that we have used this variable and not this variable. So let's just correct it again. Yep. And I think this will work correctly. Yes, so this is a valid date time object in its string format. 
and now we need to convert this to a date. So we will use the second part of that query. Yeah, it was this one. So we'll use this function, strf time. So, so what this function is doing is it's looking at the date object and trying to make it into a readable string, depending on the formatting of the string. So let's try to experiment with this. So I'm using percentage a because my documentation says that percentage a is the weekday's full name. So Sunday, Monday, Saturday, and it's its language dependent. So I'm guessing this will work. Let's just have a look. Yes, you got a Sunday. Yeah, last week, Friday. So this this look this looks promising. So let's just return this back to my while loop and we'll show this in a string. And we print it nicely. So yeah, you must be getting the idea that the core that the core code is done. It's just now the, just the peripherals to go. So, so yeah, the day of the week is Sunday, and we should have an option to to quit the program. So we'll just add that here. So print. So and we give an option between y slash n and then we just check what the option is so if he's entered a y you just uh, break the loop yeah this looks okay okay so uh, one more important thing is that i've interchangeably used single quotes and double quotes you should stick to one so we'll do that here as well and make everything double quotes i think the python paradigm suggests single quotes but yeah i don't think it makes a single difference does it yeah? Cool. And I say yes. And I quit the program. And if I want to continue, I'll get another option. Yeah, so we're getting Friday again and again. So it's correct. Yeah, so we will be posting the look at this code out here in our in the comment section in the description section below. And if you have any doubts, you can definitely leave a comment there. Yeah. Uh, any anything I'm missing here? Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.